Hey everybody, this is my Blu-ray and DVD update for January. Got a decent amount here, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Start off with the Blu-rays. Uh, the first couple Blu-rays I'm going to show you I haven't watched yet, which I'll tell you why a little bit later on in the video. But, um, <clears throat> um, first up is Die Another Day. This is only $10, and I figured I might as well go ahead and get it, and it's Die Another Day. Uh, I've not heard too good too good of things about this movie but you know I figured ten dollars I might as well go ahead and check it out if any of you have any opinions on it I'd like to hear them and I am going to watch this here before long as soon as I get done watching something else and then here's the inside of this one and then the other one I haven't seen is Risky Business another ten dollar blu-ray and I've heard pretty good things about this. I heard it's a really funny movie, but I haven't had a chance to check it out yet. But if any of you have any opinions on this, I'd like to know those as well. And then, here's the inside of this one. And then next is uh, Ratatouille. This was a pretty good price, and I'm currently working on uh, getting all the Pixar movies on Blu-ray. Because, in my opinion, they're the best movies to watch on Blu-ray. Um, I definitely think Monsters Incorporated looks the best out of all the Pixar movies. And, uh, to be honest with you, this one right here, it's, it's not my favorite Pixar movie. And, as a matter of fact, it's my least favorite Pixar movie of all of them. But it's still a good movie. That doesn't really mean I don't like it. And it is a very interesting movie. So, if you've not seen it, I would recommend it. And then, here's this one. And it does look pretty good on Blu-ray. I was expecting it to look a little bit better, but it still did look pretty good for what it was. And then, next is Across the Universe. I have seen the movie, but I've not seen it on Blu-ray yet. But I bet it does look outstanding on Blu-ray because I've seen video clips of it on Blu-ray. But it is a pretty good movie. It's about this um, couple, and uh, it's a musical, and they sing and they sing songs from the Beatles. I never really knew the Beatles that well until I watched this movie, but I did like some of the songs. I thought they were really interesting. Okay, now I have one more Blu-ray here. I just got this one yesterday and watched it for the first time yesterday, and it is Hoosiers. It's a movie about this basketball coach that goes to coach this team that people don't really have any hopes for, and then they end up being a really good team. And it was a pretty good movie. However, I don't agree with what it says here, where somebody said it's the best sports movie ever made. I kind of think it's quite far from being the best sports movie, but it was a good movie. Um, it, was, it wasn't as good as I was expecting it to be, but I still liked it. And I have to say, it really didn't look that great on Blu-ray, in my opinion. Um, I'm sure it probably does look good, look better than the DVD, but um, in my opinion, it just didn't look that good on Blu-ray. Okay, and those are all the Blu-rays. Now on to the TV series. I got quite a bit of TV series in this update. Uh... First up is House, the complete third season. I've wanted to get this season for I don't know how long now, but I just never got around to it. And it is a very good season. Uh, it's the only one I've actually seen pretty much all the way through. The first two seasons, I've seen a lot of them, but I've only seen like, I've not seen all of them. This one I have seen pretty much all of them, and it is a really good season. Uh, I quit watching though after the season because I didn't really I didn't really like the new characters and I just didn't feel like watching it any longer. But I have been thinking about getting back into this show for long. But this is a great uh season. My probably my favorite episode is the one it's called uh Informed Consent. It's about the about the guy that does all the radiation on uh animals. And then he ends up getting really sick, and he wants to die, and he wants House to help him die, but, like, he refuses to do it. And it's a really good episode, and 
another one that I really liked. I don't remember the name of this episode, and I don't I don't actually remember seeing it when it was on TV. But um, I can't remember the name of it. But it's the one about the girl. She goes in to get a STD test, and she finds out that she has like chlamydia or something like that. And uh, he ends up finding out that she was actually raped, and he's trying to talk to her and get her to tell her story. But, like, she won't open up to him, so he's opening up to her to try to get her to open up to him in return. And I really like that episode. I was definitely pleasantly surprised by that episode. And, uh, yeah, pretty much, I pretty much like all of them except for that one. It's the one about the really fat guy. The one that weighs, like, 600 pounds or something like that. I just, I think I remember liking it somewhat when I watched it on TV, but I could hardly stand to watch it when I watched it again. But um, other people might like that episode, I'm not sure. But it is a very good season. I would recommend you watch this one. And then here's the inside of this one. And then next up, I have two seasons of this one show that I've been wanting to get. And I haven't seen the entire show yet, but it is season six and season seven of 24. Great show, but I've only seen up to season four. I started watching season five, but then I just kind of lost interest in it. But I've actually decided that I'm going to get back into this show. And I've decided to just go ahead and watch the whole thing from Season 1 again, so that I can kind of review. Because to be honest with you, uh, some of the seasons I can hardly remember. And I figured I might as well go ahead and review. That way it'll make a little bit more sense later on. But, um, yeah, I went ahead and I got Season 6 and 7. They were both only, I think, $20, which isn't bad at all. And this one actually has a different packaging than probably what you would normally see. And it had a t-shirt offer where I could get a free t-shirt online. And I have ordered it, but it hasn't arrived yet. So I'm hoping it'll arrive here before long. But, um, yeah, I've not heard too good of things about this season. But I'll, I'll go ahead and give it a try and see what it's like when I eventually get to it. But, um, anyway, here's the inside of this set. Not, not a big fan of this layout, but, um... It had a free t-shirt offer, so I went ahead and got it. But anyway, there's disc one, two, three, four, and five, and then six, and then seven. Definitely a great show. Um, my favorite season is season two, and I've already watched season one again, because like I said, I'm going through and trying to rewatch it all again. And I have watched season one already. I just finished it the other night. And I'm going to start season two maybe later tonight or probably tomorrow. And eventually when I do watch them all, I'll give you all a review on what I thought about all the seasons. But yeah, there's season six. And then season seven. And I definitely think this has one of the best covers out of all the seasons. Because, to be honest with you, I'm not a huge fan of any of the covers except for this one and then season five's cover. Those are about the only two covers I really like out of all of them. But, yeah, this is just in a small keep case. And then one of them fell out here. But anyway, there's disc one, two, three, and four, five, and then six. And I've heard pretty good things about this season, and I've heard good things about season 8 so far, so I'm really hoping I'll actually be able to get through the whole series again and really enjoy it a lot better the second time around. But, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and end it right here, and I'll be back with part 2, because my battery's about to die. So, I'll be back, uh, I don't know when, but I'll be back with part 2.